Welcome back my art friends. Today we are going to paint a bear. Um, the colors you're going to need are yellow, black, white, blue, brown, green. The brushes you're going to need are your one inch flat brush as well as your number six, number four, and number one round brush. Do you guys like mini brush holder? I call him the brush monster. So he's my little brush monster. Today's the first day he's been on a video. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy. So let's get started. I'm gonna have my bear in the woods. So I'm gonna wanna take my big flat brush and use both yellow and green paint. And I'm just gonna make some stripes. Now these stripes don't have to go all the way down to the bottom because our bear is gonna take up most of the space. But we're just gonna kinda brush on that green and white all the way across the top two thirds of our canvas, keeping those lines going vertical, which means up and down. If we wanna add a little bit of yellow in one spot and a little bit of green in another, you know, we don't want it to be all lime green, although that is my favorite color. And then we are going to let this dry. When we come back, we will lay out where our bear is going to go. With a dry background, we're gonna go ahead and lay out where our bear is going to go. Now, normally I do this with white paint, but we're making a black bear, so we're gonna do it with black paint. I've got my number 10 round brush and some black paint, and I do like to water my black paint down. I just feel like it goes on the canvas a little bit better. So I'm just adding some water to the corner of my black paint so that I've got a nice, thin, liquidy, texture and I am going to start by making um, a big huge like upside down letter U. That's going to be his head. See that? Um, and from there we are going to add on two little ears which are going to be kind of like triangle shapes that have like a nice big bump to them. So copycat that on the other side. Might have to edit them to keep them the same ish size, which is fine. And then, really, his shoulders just kind of come down off of his head like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark out where his nose is going to be, also. And we're going to make a, a teardrop shape for that. So, starting about halfway down the shoe, the, the horseshoe right here, I'm going to put a dot right here, and that's going to be the top of his nose. And it's gonna come down to where his shoulders are. So I'm gonna put like a little smiley face down where his shoulders are. So now it looks like he's got a nose and a mouth, right? Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that shape and we're gonna kind of bring it up to that dot, curve it around and have it come back down. Now it looks more like a teardrop shape or really even an avocado a little bit, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and fill in um, this entire bear, but I'm gonna use a mixture of blue and black. So I've already got black on my brush. So I'm going to go in now with my blue. So I'm not adding any more black to my brush, but I am going to go with some blue paint um, because I don't want to have this bear be so dark we can't see him. So I'm going to add some blue to him to kind of lighten him up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my brush off and wash it off. And I'm going to fill in his nose area with a very light um, creamish brown color. So I'm gonna use a little bit of brown, a lot of yellow, and a little bit of white.
with my bear's outline done, I'm gonna let this completely dry and when we come back, I will add in our details. With a totally dry background, let's go ahead and lay out some of our features of our bear. So I'm gonna start by making his eyes using yellow paint. So I like to use my finger to make um, eyes. And with that, what I'm gonna do is just take some yellow paint. It's gonna look kind of weird for a minute, but give me a second, I'm gonna add some brown to it. And just right here at the top of his nose, I'm just gonna drop one nice big eyeball here and one there. Now, mind you, again, I know that's not what it's supposed to look like, but then I'm gonna go in with my number four round brush and some brown paint. And I'm going to kind of mix that color right on there. The reason I like to use my finger and make the circle is because then I have a really nice even circle. Both sides are even. And I can then go in and add some of this extra color in. And even maybe leaving the bottom of it just a little bit lighter than the top. If you get too much paint on your brush, like right now I've got a bunch of paint on mine, just wipe it right off and go back in for some more. And then this is where the fun kind of starts is we're gonna go through and we're gonna create um, an illusion of some fur. So to do that, we're gonna use um, our number 10 round brush and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make lines. See that, just a line, okay? And I'm gonna use some blue, some black, even a little bit of white, especially up at the top to show that there is fur. So up here at the top, the hair is gonna kind of go up and around the eyes, and then it's gonna kind of fall down. So right here, it's gonna go up and around the eyes, and then it's all gonna fall down. So I'm gonna put these lines on here just so I can remember which way my bare hair, <laughs> that rhymes, so funny. My bare hair is going up and around and down. I'm also gonna remember that the top of his head is gonna be lighter than the bottom of his um, body because this is all gonna have the light shining on it. So even the ears up here can have quite a bit of highlight. And you know, some of those lines, some of those little hair lines might even pop right off of his little ear and that's okay. The inside, I'm gonna keep that really dark color. I might even go in with a little bit of black paint and a um, little bit of blue paint and make those lines. I really like that hair look. So now it's all about filling in the space with lines that look like hair. See how I'm using those little lines right there on his ear? That's gonna help it look a little bit more like he's got some furry ears. All right, so there's your job. Ready? Start here, you're gonna go up, you're gonna go around, you're gonna fall off. Then you're gonna make sure that your lighter color's at the top and it gets darker towards the bottom.
So I've just washed and wiped off my brush and I'm now gonna make a really light brown color. So some yellow, some brown, maybe even a little bit of white, um, a really light brown color. And I'm gonna take that brown color and I'm just gonna add some spots of it, okay? So I don't wanna have too much brown in his fur, but I do wanna add some. So I've got my brown on here. You just go in just really lightly and just add a little bit of brown to kind of remind people that this is a bear. And then let's work on his um, face features. Cause right now, well, he doesn't really look too much like a bear, does he? I'm gonna use that light brown color that I just made and I'm gonna lighten it up just a tad more. And we're gonna work on his nose first. So I'm gonna have this really, really, really light brown color. And I wanna stay with the same kind of texture. So I'm just gonna pull some of these lines kind of up into here. Cause you know, his, his nose is also furry, it's just a lighter color. And then as I go around to the sides, I can go ahead and some, grab some brown and kind of go around the edges of it. And I'm just gonna blend that color up into his nose. blue paint with my number four and right here I'm gonna make his his nostrils so this is gonna be a straight line across and I've got blue paint and then it's gonna kind of come down at a curve see that I can go ahead and paint this whole space in see we're slowly starting to get more bear like aren't we Two little black ovals. And then I'm just gonna kind of outline the bottom of this with some black, because I want it to be a little bit darker at the base. And then put a little line down and his mouth goes across. We even add a little bit of black right around here just to show that it's got some shadow going on. All right, so those eyeballs, those bare eyeballs, I'm gonna use my finger with a little bit of black paint on it. And I'm going to drop a spot up in the top area of his eye. A little bit of white paint. white paint to his top of his nose. Got a little bit too much white paint on there so I can pull some of that back off. Sometimes that happens where you get a little bit too much. You could pull it off and reapply it. Well, I don't know about you, but I think he's pretty cute. So I'm gonna call this guy done. What you're gonna do when you're finished is you're gonna find a color that will show up on your canvas. 
you will sign your name anywhere you want. I like to put mine in the bottom right corner. And don't forget, I only get to see what you're painting at home if you post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.